Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We start this one off with this van behind me. Can you spot what's wrong? I'll zoom in in a little while to see if you can spot it, but see if you can spot it without me zooming in. I'll start to zoom in right about now. If you haven't spotted it, the young kid on the right hand side will actually show you what's wrong. There you go, he's playing with his seatbelt that should be around him. So he's not wearing his seatbelt. I can see the driver isn't, so I can only imagine the girl isn't. The driver now hasn't even got his teeth in properly. There he goes, he's got to glue the teeth into his mouth. Put a bit of glue on and then shove it back in your gob. So they must have had a bit of a rush morning this morning. So, we're still not done yet though. We're looking at the driver still. He's got two kids in the car. And what's the next one that they do normally, these, these type of people? Yep, he's going to start vaping. But that's not the only thing wrong with this car. Yes, it's also missing its MOT as well. Good job. Now in this clip, we're looking at a mobile phone user in this one, but a very special person because he needs two hands to use his mobile phone. What are you steering with? Now in this clip, we're approaching a roundabout. We're on the A240, which is a very busy road. And because it's so busy, it's very hard to get out of the turnings from the left or the right. And in this little clip here, you'll see two different ways of how people do it. You'll see someone that gives way to someone that's approaching from the left, which is kind of unusual, but it worked. And there is also an Audi way of doing it. Yeah, bit of a difference. So we're looking at this white car first of all and see how he pulls out into this road. We can't go anywhere. You see that traffic up in front? So that car there lets him go. Now you heard the horn there. That was the Audi entering the roundabout. Yeah, that's their technique of entering the roundabout. Just pull out, basically. Now we're looking over to the left hand side as the Audi pulls, just pulls out. Now there's one thing you've got to notice with the Audi, look at it, it's got moisture all over it. So that person has only just got in that car and has done that. Before the car has even got warmed up, it's already starting to pull out on people. Now in this clip, we're looking over there to the right hand side. We're looking at a van that's just going to go straight across this junction. That obviously doesn't use its mirrors very well because it would notice that he's left his side door open if he used his mirrors. Hopefully his tools will still be there by the time he gets to the next job. And speaking of tools, we got a couple of clips of cyclists now. Red light? Not for him. Red light? Not for him. Now in this clip, we're looking over to the right hand side, right where that bus is pulling out. Now obviously you can see the bus pulling out of that junction, so the car behind it has only just got to that junction. But for some reason, he seems to think that he's got priority. Yes, it's a professional driver. And look at this, not only is he not giving me any acknowledgement for letting him go, he's not even fucking looking to the left hand side. Where the hell did they get these drivers from? It's an absolute joke. So we go from one inconsiderate git to this guy who's waiting at a red light. Now this is, well, it's the first time I've seen someone do this on a bike, that is, anyway. Look at this. He lets me go. I might have been held up by him, so he's letting me go. He's also letting the car behind me go. And it wasn't as though he was a slow rider. You'll see in a minute, he's actually quite quick. But how considerate is that compared to the professional driver beforehand? 
And now we come to two inconsiderate drivers. This is just down the road from that cyclist as well. And these two just having a chat. They know I'm there. And you might say, well, why aren't you using the horn? Well, I know behind me there's a campsite. You can call them what you like, travellers, jippos, pikies, whatever. But there's a site behind me. And those guys are fucking mad. You do not mess with those guys. They they got no rules, no regs, no nothing. They don't care. So if you know where a site is and peep, they're always in vans, don't row with them. Just keep everyone waiting. Don't don't worry about anyone else. Now in this clip, I'm going to show you how to use give way lines properly. See them give way lines on the left hand side there. Now, there's nothing coming from my right-hand side. I can go out, but I can't because look at these cars coming from my left-hand side. They're on my side of the road, so you just wait. Give way lines are for both sides of the road. But then look at this idiot. You can move over. Move over! Fucking hell! There's so much room on your side. <clears throat> Again, these give way lines are for both sides of the road, remember. Remember, our roads in this country, there's generally cars parked on one side of the road. So you can't automatically just assume that you can just pull out just because something's not coming from your right-hand side. You still need to look left as well. Unlike this guy, who doesn't look left, right, or in the mirrors or anything. He has no idea that I'm behind him. None whatsoever. And when you do make eye contact with these people, you can see the shocked look on their face. It's like, oh shit, I didn't know you were there. So moving on. So we just had that guy reverse around the corner without even looking in his mirrors to see if anyone was there. And now we're coming to a car that has priority over me, but could do itself a little bit of a favor. Now, it's not indicating. If it was indicating, I would wait here, where I am now. It's not indicating, so it's going straight on, isn't it? But it is turning. It's just not going to indicate until it gets to there, which is far too late. Now, I would have stayed where I was, and this van that's in front of me, a guy opens the door. Now, he would have been able to see me a little bit better because I would have been held back here where I am now. If that car would have done the correct thing and be indicating already. It then indicate afterwards you just open your door if you'd have indicated earlier i would have stopped and now we come to a classic example of the give way lines see them give way lines there up on the right hand side look left and right because obviously i've got cars and vans parked on my side of the road i've got to be driving on the wrong side of the road to get to it you're just going to put out and yeah yeah the give way lines not just for one side. So in this clip, we're in good old Sutton again. Yeah, where the people are a bit... <clears throat> so we got a, a Fiat 500 to my left-hand side that's just going to cut across. Yeah, so it's undertook me to get where it is. But this is the dangerous part here. It undertakes that lorry on a bend. It's sort of like that's where it's got its blind spots. Its blind spots are there, and you've undertook it there. If that lorry was in the wrong lane and wanted to go over to the left, it wouldn't have been able to see ya. Now in this clip, them boxes there are for cyclists. The cyclists that stop at red lights, there ain't many of them about. So why do we have these boxes if none of them stop at red lights? I don't know. And predictably enough, there he goes. Now, do you think this car is a queue jumper or just made a genuine mistake? My lane has got four cars in it. The two behind me, me, and there's one in front of me. This car coming up to the right-hand side here is only that car in that lane. So it's, it's chosen the shortest queue. But it doesn't want that lane. So you're going to wait behind four cars or are you going to go to the one at the front? and be in the wrong lane. And when are you gonna to indicate to let everyone know that you're in the wrong lane? That's a bit late. 
serious. You left it that late to get into the correct lane. What an absolute numpty. And for once, no one let him out. So you might as well have got in the correct lane to start off with anyway. Now this clip is all about patience, self-entitlement and bad driving. It's all rolled into one here. Obviously, we've got a lot of traffic here. This car in front of me isn't happy about that and decides he wants to do a complete U-turn and go back the other way. But it wants to do it right when someone behind me thinks that it's okay to drive on the wrong side of the road and I'm not waiting in any queue because I'm more important than you guys. So we're looking at this car in front for now. It's going to put its indicator on right now and it's almost going at the same time. Now the car behind, not the red one, there's a mini behind that, is doing that at exactly the same time. See it slam on its brakes? And if you go back to the front, you'll see it there. And for some reason, it seems to think that it's too important to wait in the queue like everyone else. Special. Now, I'm not sure. I've got my clips a little bit all muddled up. So I'm not sure if I've shown you this one already before. As you can see, nice little country lane. And I've got the sun in my eyes. Not great driving, really. And to be honest, I don't like driving these roads. I'm all right driving them, but it's idiots coming the other way. They seem to go so fast. And they seem to go around bends so fast as well. It's like they don't see any danger. So we'll have a few examples here. Two decent ones and one outrageously bad one and the outrageously bad one was looking at me as if it was my fault believe it or not it's a shame i hadn't haven't got a side camera and i don't know what it is about these roads i always seem to meet someone coming the other way on a bend it's never on a straight where you've got plenty of time to maneuver find the gap or something it's always on a bend maybe i'm just unlucky that way so you come around a bend and there it is nothing wrong with that Nothing wrong with that at all. Another one on a bend. I was lucky there. I've got a bit of room to my side. She didn't. But this one. This is the idiot. Look at the speed in the middle of the road. And he's the clown looking at me. Always an Audi. Now in this clip. Hatched markings. Are you allowed to drive on them or not? That is the debate. It seems to be in the comments all the time. Every time I put one of these on, a lot of people say yes, a lot of people say no. You are allowed to drive on them, but you should be doing it in the correct manner if you need to. If you need to drive on them, you can. Not just willy-nilly just overtaking things because there's a, 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 almost like a separate lane there just for you, like this bus is going to do now. That's not a second lane there. There's only one lane there that that lorry's in. That bus is driving over hatch markings there to turn right all the way up there. Now for me, I don't think you should be doing that. I think that's dangerous, you know, because there are turnings to the left-hand side, people coming out of there and all that sort of stuff. That one for me is a no, but let us know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.